Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss the rest of the last lesson information and communication technology. Well, from the last video, we have explained what is data and information, and I have taken some example and I have discussed about them and I have explained you how the data is can be converted as information and I have taken some tables and student marks and explained them and I have uh, used figures such as cake baking process and family to identify the data and information and finally I have discussed about from the national identity card how to figure the data and information today i'm going to talk about what are the information system and what are the available information system around the sri lanka and from next video i have hope to check about what is information and communication technology and there are some applications in ICT. I will hope to explain about them. And there is some thing called e government. I will discuss about that. And I hope to discuss about some applications in the field of education. That is from the next video. Well, let's see what is an information system. Submitted data for the processing is called as input and the results we get after the processing these Inputs is called as output that means we are giving some input and process them and taking some output The whole collection of this components or the co collection of this process can be called as information system well then the information system is submitting data for processing that means some from the from some input we are processing them and take some input the whole process we are called as an information system well let's see how an information system is functioning we are submitting some data which we are called as input and then processing and storage there is storage part we, we call it as the process and giving some required information for the inputs that is the basic process when submitting the data to the processing is called as input and results after the processing them we are getting as output okay collection of this whole process is called as information system the purpose of this information system is to retrieve data process them and store them and take necessary results or take necessary de decisions for the companies when that is required let's see how some information systems are working I have taken an example of ATM card or are taking money from the ATM card or check the account balance. For the data, we are input the ATM card and type the PIN number as input that is data. From this computer system, what is it is doing? It is check whether the relevant relevant pin number is authentication the card and process them and give the relevant record information like account balance the such as information what are the accounts account balance and the transactions we can that is the output okay when ATM card is inserted into the machine data is processed and relevant information that is account balance and the account balance and the uh, required transaction can be seen 
then I have given some example of fingerprint system we all are taking uh, marking our in and out from the fingerprint system uh, that is basically attendance system as the input it recognizes the fingerprint of the employee and process them and keep a track of time of arrival and departure when fingerprint is uh, that is basically using for calculate the uh, salaries over time and other things it is used as can be used as information today i'm going to talk about what are the information system and what are the available information system around the sri lanka and from next video i have hope to check about what is information and communication technology and there are some applications in ict i will hope to explain about them and there is some thing called e-government i will discuss about that and i hope to discuss about some applications in the field of education that is from the next video when we take this information when understanding the information it should be when processing the data we are making some decisions to take these decisions we are using this information this information should be within a good quality so let's see what are the qualities of the information I have listed some things and I have given some examples let's see what are the qualities of the information first one is relevancy that means all the information all the information submitted it should be relevant to the particular area or the particular information it should be relevant as example I have given it is not needed to submit the academic information from the grade 1 onwards when the requirement is to submit only the higher education qualification that means when you are when you are applying for some job it is required to submit only the highest higher education qualifications it should be only submitted the higher higher education qualification you don't need to submit all the academic information from the grade one that means the relevancy relevancy means the things which are you providing should be how relevant for the information then second one is completeness 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 is taking information from only from small group of people order to arrive the, arrive the PCI of country is not sufficient that means if countries to to get the uh, I mean as the example relevancy means if you are calculating of the population of the country you should get a average area and submit them and multiply by your country area then you can get the whole of your country population that means it should be complete 
third one is accuracy accuracy means the information is given should be very accurate as example i have given if doctor is giving some wrong information about the patient's health the if patient giving the wrong information to the doctor about his health the doctor will be given wrong medicine that would be harmful for the um, harmful for the patient when drinking those drugs okay next one timeliness the information must always updated that means when you are giving a, an information it should be updated one as as example i have given if you are getting getting some uh, weather information it should be updated one if if uh, it is telling us it is rainy to, tomorrow it should be rain otherwise the people will be excited next one is cost effectiveness cost effectiveness means uh, if your organization spends some money more than the profit that means if your profit is 50 million if you are spend money more than 50 100 million it should be it will be a business loss that means the cost effectiveness then there should be some information which we are gathering about the organization to i think uh, for the trainings we have spent more than the profit that will be not a best solution that's all about this lesson and hope you have enjoyed from the next part i will be discuss about information and communication technology and some other some of the applications of the information and communication technology then i will talk about e-government concept and some applications in the fields of education i will be discuss from the next part hope you have enjoyed my video and thank